Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm glad that you've joined me here today. Today I'm here with a haul. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Elian and the channel Silver Moonlight and I do uh, lots of things on the channel. I do like shopping hauls, I do clothing clothing hauls and try-ons. I do um, bits of cooking, bits of craft. Uh, or decor it's like a lifestyle channel guys so it's um a bit it's an eclectic mix of things you know um and i do go in like affordable shops as well so it's like the likes of your b&m your home bargains places like that what we all love you know um and are affordable so uh enough for getting poundland as well i do like to go in poundland as well but today as i say is a shopping haul and it's the shops that we all love to shop in which is home bargains b m and aldi today that's that's the shops i've been in um and i've picked up like a few beauty products from aldi that i haven't tried before so i want to share those with you because when i go for my shopping in aldi i'm like drawn to the middle aisle i'm like you know it's like a magnet you know and david's trying to like keep us out the middle aisles and i'm having none of that and uh anyway i picked up a couple of things from the middle aisle of aldi the rest is from b&m and home bargains and yeah without um any further delay i'm just going to show you what i bought it's um it's, the lights coming in. I don't know if you can see the sun. Um, it's a beautiful, crisp, um, sunny Wednesday morning. Um, you'll be watching this like tonight, like this evening. But it's beautiful outside. It's really I love this time of year. Um, I've got my washing on the line, so I'm hopeful how it's going to get dried. But I think I'm going to have to get something sorted for the winter because. Um, the tumble dryer is in the garage and I'm not using it. Who can afford to use it, guys? Can't afford to use it anyway. I'm babbling. So <laughs> I'm going to show you what I bought from um, Aldi firstly. So I picked up this. Um, it's vanilla honey, golden bath nectar. I've got a come closer so you can see the box. It's a light, um, it's that sun, isn't it? So, um, it's like from their spa, the Lacura Spa range. And it looks ever so cute. I'm gonna show you it. Obviously, you just pop it in your bath, you know, when you um when you're running your bath. The only thing is it's got like an icky. I mean I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's the touch of it. I can't I can't bear it. I'm on a guys, I just um I'll just try and get it out. So this is the doodah. <laughs> you know it's like what the honey like what you have in a honey pot so it's one of these wooden i mean it's nice it's a shame because i can't touch wood because uh, i do love wooden things you know and this is the stuff the um actual product itself so it's just like a little um and you know what that's going to look really really cute in my bathroom because um, my bathroom's like a spa it's got kind of spa theme going on it, like in, in my bathroom. And I'm going to, um, well, it's vanilla honey, so I'm expecting it to smell really nice. Let's have a little sniff. I mean, it does look really nice. Oh, oh God, yeah. Yeah, just vanilla and honey, guys. It's, I want to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. But honestly, it smells really lush. I kind of really use this in the bath. So obviously it's got, um, I can't see what it says on the jar because I haven't got any glasses on as usual. But um, I'm guessing that it's going to be like really moisturising and skin softening. So I thought I'd give that a go. Um, I do believe it was 4 99 Was it 3 99 or 4 99 Oh God, I've just touched that thing. Let's not do that. But that would be nice as a little gift. You know, I like to put away for Christmas as stocking fillers. So uh, I might get another couple of from my daughters, you know. And I hope you're not watching because, you know what, she'll, she'll do that, right? I'll be hauling things on the channel and both my da daughters will have no surprises because they'll have seen everything. Because <laughs> I'm sure my other daughter occasionally watches my channel. But I know Emma does watch my, my videos. Um. Anyway, next, I picked up this again from the Lacura range. And it's the Plump and Face Mask um, Hydrating Formula, which um, is good for us 
like um, more mature ladies. I mean, it's good for any age, you know, but certainly more ladies with more mature skin and certainly people who's like going through or being through the menopause because we kind of all know the menopause plays havoc with your skin. It really dries you out. It's terrible, isn't it, guys? <laughs> I think, um, actually, my doctor's been trying to um, track me down and um, wants to start me on HRT now because I wasn't a candidate before, but apparently I might be a candidate for HRT now. So watch this space. If I do start it, guys, I will let you know how I get on with it. But um, I think um, for me... It's probably I'm at the end of it now because I've been I've been having menopausal symptoms since I was in my forties. So um I'm pretty much coming to the end of it now and it's been a long journey. <laughs> a long journey and not a pleasant one either. But anyway, everything comes to an end though, doesn't it? There's always a silver lining. Don't forget that there's always a silver lining, guys. Um so this is the jar of um, plump and face mask and this I think this is an overnight formula so you put it is it says overnight and um, you put it on overnight so it's full of hyaluronic acid and a plumps and a hydrates so I'm really looking forward to using this I love the color of the jar you know this like cobalt blue it's really pretty and the silver lid I don't know if this is actually a dupe for anything if it is if I find out it is I will pop it on the screen where it's a dupe for Oh, do you know what? There's not much smell to it, which again is a positive for me. Um, I'm just going to try a little bit on my hand, guys, just to see like what the formula's like. Whether it disappears into the skin, you know, quite well. Um, yeah, I mean it applies quite nice. It's a bit more like a gel than a cream, so. I've just popped a bit on my hand and I'll just check in in a couple of like min in a minute or so to see how that's um you know absorbing into my skin but um yes so this is the plump and face mask and this was say uh, 449 for this face mask so I thought I'll give that a go because you know when you when you go on for other uh, brands and I, I'm not talking high-end brands because we all know they're ridiculous money I'd love to use these high-end brands I really would but I can't afford them you know well in fact it's not even about affordability guys because I, I guess if I really wanted it I would get it you know because I'm just like that but I just like think it's not worth the price point you know these like when you're paying over 100 pounds for face cream for 50 mils I'm sorry, but I've got better things to spend my cash on, you know, because I can't believe that that's worth the ingredients in that cream cost a hundred quid. Do you know what I mean? Or anywhere near, you know, when I'll take and knock out things like this, which is very similar to, um, you know, IEM products, but the price tag's lower. So come on, knock your prices down. You know, maybe, maybe if you lower your prices, us ladies could try them, you know, and then we you'd have a whole new market and all new customer range open to you. You know, just lower your prices. <laughs> yeah, that, it does have a smell of it, you know. It has absorbed into my skin. Um, so yeah, so far so good with that, guys. 4 49 for that. The next one I picked up is this Miracle Cream. Now, I'm sure this is the dupe for, is it the Elizabeth Arden Cream? The 8 Hour Cream. Um again heard about this i've seen it in the shop before but never tried it because i've had other creams but um i thought i'm going to give it a go because you don't often see it in there and in here i'm just trying oh, it's a 50 ml tube so it's it's a good all-round cream this one as far as i know and i think it does have kind of healing properties to it um because like if you've got cracked ales and things like that it's supposed to help with that but it's yeah it's just a a tube of cream 50 ml let's have a look just see anything oh okay so um there's an infinite ways to use it 
Um, it helps soothe dry skin, it promotes healthy skin and saves in moisture, protects the skin from drying effects of wind and air. So that's good. Um, it aids the relief of irritation. So if you've got a bit of irritation on your skin, this would probably help. Redness as well after shaving. So you can use it after shaving if you've got like a big chafing or whatever. Um, it leaves your skin feeling supple and wonderfully smooth. Um, it softens chapped lips. So it's safe to use on your lips as well. Um, eyebrows can be shaped and the delicate skin on your eyelids revitalised. Oh, now that I am interested in, guys. Because if this is any good, you know, my eyes are really sensitive and a lot of creams, um, you know, you've got to be careful using around your eyes, but you can use this one on your eyelids. So uh, I'm really interested to see if I can actually use this. So uh, again, it's like, you know, it seems like you can pour it anywhere on your body, really. If you can pour it on your lips and on your eyelids. So yeah, I'm all about using that. Um, I think this one was $5.99, I want to say. I don't have the receipt because I'd had all my shopping on. And you know, when I go out to Aldi, my shopping receipt's like, you know, it's oh, nearly a metre long. It really is, guys. It's ridiculous. But there is a lot of us. Um, but, um, yeah, I, so I threw the receipt away, you know. But I'm sure this was about 5 99 And, you know, when you think what you're paying in the chemist, not in the chemist, in, like, um, boots. Well, it is a chemist boots, isn't it? Like, in boots and super jug and that for, like, L'Oreal and Garnier and, and, you know, products like that. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to give that a go, definitely. Anyway, moving on, guys. I, again, in the middle aisle. Now, I, I had my eye on this, you know, and there was a pineapple one as well. And I had my eye on it for a while. But they were like five ninety nine or six ninety nine, And I was like, I'm not paying that for it. You know, because it's a monster relief. Look at it. And I bought it for the tiki bar up there. You know, the tiki bar that day if it's still building. <laughs> Cracky, honestly, he's still building it, guys. I, I need to, um, I need to supervise this project. I really do. <laughs> Get the work. Come on, work. <laughs> anyway, so this board, yes, um, it was three ninety nine that reduced it. So it's this acacia wood serving board. I mean, it would be nice to serve food on, wouldn't it as well? But uh, I. I, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it'll be used up there. Maybe to serve food on. Maybe to just chop fruit or something, you know, for cocktails. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to B&M. So in B&M, oh, you know what? Oh, this is so cute. I couldn't resist. Now, I said I'm not getting any more because I bought enough. But then I saw these and I just couldn't, I just couldn't walk past them. Because it was cute. This little pumpkin, orange pumpkin. It was only £3 from um, from B&M. So I picked that up, guys, to go out with my pumpkin collection. Um, I've got quite like a little pumpkin patch now. Um, my big pumpkin patch. And I picked up this one as well. It was lovely with it. It's just bigger. And it's like, um, that. that's obviously an orange colour. This one's in a beige. A beige colour and this one was five pound so I picked that one up just put that one down on the floor I picked another pumpkin up I've got a pumpkin obsession so I picked it it's just white just a white ceramic one with a gold uh, top this was from home bargains though this one and this was 5 99 so I picked that one up <coughs> I think Emma picked one up as well, you know. She picks up, like, we're, we're always go for similar things. Um, this, yes, I picked this up from Home Bargains as well. And it's just a white pumpkin mug. Now, I've got the orange ones from Poundland, which I love. I really like them. But I thought, I'm going to take this one off the caravan. I keep the orange one here, because that's a set. I've got about a set of six, I think it is, or four can't remember it's either four or six i've got a set of so i thought i'd take this one the caravan and this one was only 2.49 for that one these did come in orange as well guys 
But the white ones seem to be dead popular. They seem to like fly out the door, the white ones. The orange ones disappear pretty quick as well, but the white ones are just like, everybody wants the white ones. I like both. So um, my next item was this, these bats. Hanging bats they are. Now these, I got them for outdoors um, for Halloween, you know, because I do like a big display for the kids and that. Um, well not my kids because my kids are growing up but they still like Halloween and that but like for you know the kids in the neighbourhood um, so anyway they're like different size bats they are so you've got smaller ones medium size and, and big ones and you've got like a string there so you attach them all on the string and you just hang them you can see a bit of a picture there so um, on my like house I've got um what's it called canopy canopy um above the door so i'm going to hang them in in the um you know the eaves of the canopy and um, i'll just dangle them down and and, and then I'll, i think i'm going to put them like like where the garage is underneath like the soffit board i'm going to like put them on the garage as well like on the garage soffit board and dangle them down so i, I picked up two packs of those and they were just one ninety nine, and you get like quite a few bats in. I don't think it tells you how many. Or oh, twelve. You get twelve bats in each pack. So I think that's like really, really good for like one ninety nine. You know, I'm all about like trying to get like cheap, and and I do make me one props as well for Halloween, because it, one the hard to get in this country, and two when you can get them, they're so expensive. So. I just make me one. Um, yeah, these are plastic, so they're gonna be fine out in the rain. So one ninety nine for those. Um, moving on, I picked up. Oh, I have to open this bag. I've actually. Um, just bear with me, please. <clears throat> these, I love these. Look at them, the black. Um, are the crows? I'm not up on my birds. <laughs> I think the crows or ravens. Um, and I just thought these were so cool, you know, to use in the garden. Sometimes we do get them in the garden quite a lot. And I remember last year when um, when I, we had all the display out there and there, there was black crows on the, because uh, I've got like fake gravestones and like one of one of the black crows was like perched on the um on the gravestone and me and David were like oh I wish it would stay there because it, it looked really like cool and creepy but um so I've been on the lookout for something like that you know um to to replicate that look and yeah they had them in this year they had owls as well black owls but um I didn't want the owls I just I went for these. I, I think I picked up four of them. Did I pick up four? I'm just going to count them. Yes. Yeah, guys, I picked up four to like dot around in the garden. And these were, yeah, how much were these? They weren't very expensive. I can't remember how much they were. Well, they're like one ninety nine, I think. For, for each one so uh, yep yeah, I picked up them and I picked up this as well and it's a bag of bones <laughs> I know I know guys but you get the skull in there and like the femur bones and things like that you get the hands and there's like feet as well now the reason I picked these up was like because um on the graves um I do like it's, it's like a gravestone and then it's got the curb stone around it you know like what you have in cemeteries and then I put the bones like as if they're coming out of the um you know out of the, the grave so uh, one of these like this will do for like a few graves you know I, I wouldn't put out all of this on one grave I would like put them up like spread it out on different ones so just to go as further and this was six pound guys and um, the haunted house bones so these were like just six pound and i think these were from i'm sure they were from one bargain these oh and i must say it as well guys you could see the uh, balloons behind emma did a um, gender reveal 
so uh, she, she's got that over on her channel so i'll put her channel name up here if you haven't already seen that video but um yes we now know the sex of baby pippin um but i'm you know i'm just letting Emmett like it's her news to tell you know so um if you're interested head on over to her channel and um you know she she reveals all on there i guess and uh yes so these are the, just the balloon decorations some of them that we had you know for the reveal and do you know what we had um my friend stacy's wedding and then we had like everybody round for a gender reveal um me and david uh we had the the wedding and then we had a, a dear miss a dear then we had the everybody here for like the gender reveal and um <clears throat> excuse me bless her she did like a lot of the cooking herself she she baked like little cupcakes and things decorated them all but i did help her with some of the food she even went shopping you know for for the food herself and that so she did most of it herself but i helped her a bit with the decor and things like that um but it was a really really yeah nice time uh we had a couple of really nice like occasions recently uh recently and we've just gotten back actually but you won't see that video this week because it's going to be a long one guys um i we went we, we went away to the yorkshire dales and i did a lot of i wasn't going to film at all to be fair and then i thought it was just like so nice so we, i did end up vlogging it and um because we were supposed to be there for like a total break you know what and i think once you're a youtube like once you do youtube a youtuber you like it's hard to switch off you know what? it is hard to switch off like from from doing it because you see things and you think oh that would be nice me for you was my like that you know what? and so you pick the camera up and you and, and it's like that you just the kind of thinking like oh you know me, me viewers would like that oh they might be interested in that that might be good you know it's a lovely place they might want to come and so i picked the camera up and did vlog but it's gonna take and you know what guys i'm gonna let let you win on this but um, i'm gonna let you win on this it's, it's not a big secret but um it's really really um hard doing travel vlogs i mean cranky these ones who do nothing but travel vlogs my hat goes off to them because honestly there is so much editing and goes into travel vlogs so much editing because you're filming quite a lot and then you're chopping like lots of that out you know so it's going to take a while to edit guys so that's probably not going to be up this week but it will be up next week and uh you know i'll show i'll show you where we stayed and things like that and where we visited as well because it's just beautiful i've never actually been there before and it just blew my mind you know it was just so absolutely stunningly naturally beautiful you know i just and it's it's in our country so uh it, it was wonderful I'll share that with you <laughs> uh, probably next week so guys i'm babbling again and I, but i'm going to go uh i just really want to thank you all for um coming and joining me here today and um, i hope to see you all again i will be back soon with another video and um, i'm going to be doing my handbags actually guys um because i know about asked just if you would like to see that so it will be probably a handbag one the next video so i hope you can join me for that until then though i hope you have a lovely day well, it'll not be a lovely day because you're watching this on night time. <laughs> I hope you have a pleasant evening. And um, until the next time, guys, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye.